My name is Tina Keto. I'm a Homeworks by Precept consultant and a homeschooling mom. We've been homeschooling using BJU Press homeschool materials for just about a decade and we just love it. Today I want to show you a look in the book of, of the Pre-Algebra 2nd Edition. Uh, the Pre-Algebra 2nd Edition is uh, really fantastic and I just want to go through some highlights about um, the kits and what's included as well as kind of show you inside the teacher's edition and the student text to give you a better idea of what to expect uh, with the pre-algebra. So first of all, the pre-algebra, if you're planning on teaching the parent-led textbook kit yourself, uh, the textbook kit comes with the student text, as you see here, the teacher's edition, which is two volumes, and in the back of the teacher's edition, there is a um, CD-ROM, and that has uh, extra materials for uh, visuals and things like that that you can use to help um, your child understand the concepts better. Uh, you'll also receive a test and test answer key, as well as an activities book, which is just extra activities beyond the student text, and an answer key for that. Now, if you're planning on doing the video course um, where Mr. Harmon teaches, uh, that is going to be a little bit different. You, the teacher's edition is still available to you, but since Mr. Harmon will be teaching the material to your student, that will be available as a PDF download on your online account. You'll receive the student text and you'll receive a, um, any handouts, um, which would be any reinforcement pages that uh, Mr. Herman has provided for the class, as well as a parent guide for correcting work. If you use the DVDs, the parent guide will come uh, printed for you. I like to call it the purple parent guide. Um, and it comes three hole punched and you just drop it in a three ring binder and you're ready to go to correct all the work. And that's gonna include your tests and your quizzes. Um, as well as the answer keys and answer keys for daily work um, and um, a grading uh, spreadsheet and extra instructions as well. Uh, if you're doing the video course online, all of those things will be provided to you online and the online, the tests and quizzes will be taken online. Um, we use this, we really enjoy do, using the online because a great benefit of it is that your child will put do the, will do their work and they'll put their answers in online and it will auto grade um, and that's really helpful. So the online has those online assessments. Um, if your child does not do well with online assessments, there is an option to contact your consultant and get those printed tests as well. If you would like to know more about the video course and what that's going to be like, it has been brand new and re-recorded for uh, the 2020 year. And um, Mr. Herman did a live video on that on the YouTube channel. Uh, so you just simply need to go to the BJU Press Homeschool YouTube channel and look at his uh, Facebook Live and that will give you all the details as to how he set up that course and um, everything that you would need to know about that. So let's go ahead and get started and look in, in these books. Uh, we're going to actually start with the teacher's edition here. And I'm going to look at the first book of the teacher's edition. Um, so it has, does have the two volumes. And there are a lot of great things in this teacher's edition. Um, they are more than just answer keys. They are going to give you a lot of extras in here. And I want to show you those today. So the solutions are all provided for you, and you'll see right here, um, this is a small copy of what is in your student's work uh, textbook. And so what's really fantastic about this is you can see exactly what they're seeing, you can uh, follow right along, and you can see the problems and the answers are just put right on here for you. And then if there are extra um, solutions that do not fit on here, they will be in the margins for you. So this is actually one of my uh, favorite parts about this curriculum is that there are 
more, there's more than one track. If your child needs a little bit of remedial work, if your child is pretty average and needs just a standard amount of math work, or if your child is more advanced and would maybe be in an honors class um, in school, there's actually assignments that are gonna be tailored for each of those scenarios. Uh, you're the parent, you can always modify those, but there are suggested schedules. So the front matter, this very front portion of the teacher's edition, actually explains all of this. And I recommend, even if you are doing the video course, to go online and access that teacher's edition and read the front matter. That's really gonna help you out as you uh, facilitate and help your child. Um, depending on where they are, you can make adjustments as needed. So there's the suggested assignments and those three different tracks, which I think are just wonderful. And it's all laid out here for you and how you um, can use that. Uh, now, looking at how many lessons, uh, this is going to be 162 teaching lessons in this class, and then that means it is a full year course, and it is also um, going to be a, um, a layout that goes in those 14 chapters. It's going to be laid out and organized topically, and it's going to build sequentially. So if you look, let's take a look at the table of contents here for you. And you'll see that chapter one is integers, and we're gonna work on through here, the math and use that we're gonna talk about later, which is just fantastic, especially for kids that don't, that wanna know the why behind math and, and maybe need that extra um, encouragement. Problem solving, math and scripture, these are all blended into each of these chapters. So we go over an example um, of a sample lesson to help you get a good idea of what it is that we are going to be, uh, what you are going to be doing. Uh, up here are the objectives. So this is your lesson 5.3. These are the objectives. These are the resources. So these are your objectives of what you are trying to teach. These are the resources that you are going to need for this uh, lesson. And then it's going to walk you through everything you need to do, everything you need to do to present the material. It explains it here. If you need help being walked through step by step, it's really great. It has a motivational idea as well as those extra tips. And then you would go into that skill check. There's going to be that skill check one. Make sure your uh, child understands what they're doing. And then you're going to go into skill check two. You'll see there's all these fantastic solutions here for you and then your kids will go ahead and do their independent work once you feel they're ready and there's going to be those exercises a b and c remember those a the a section um are broken up to be to help you understand how to assign them better so the a section is going to be more of those routine problems that are going to be taken directly from what you just taught in the material and the skill checks the step the b problems that you see right here are going to be multi-step problems that build on previous material that they have learned because this is a curriculum that builds and then you're going to see um, C exercises and those are more challenging and they're going to require deeper thinking skills. So these C problems depending on your child's ability may or may not be doing as many of them. If your child is more on like an honors track or math comes really easily to them you're going to want to go ahead and give him a lot of those problems. If he's finishing math really quickly, you can just go ahead and assign more of those. Um, one that I want to uh, point out to you is common student errors. So this is a really handy section that you're going to find most of the time going through this book. And um, the common student errors are something that you can read ahead of time before you help your child if you feel that they're going to potentially have um, need some extra help, um, then you can anticipate those uh, common errors and you can have an explanation. They can be helpful if math is something that just comes really easy to you and you have a difficult time explaining it, but you just know it works. That's really can be helpful. And I know that's something that homeschool moms can just really love having that resource to be able to um, explain things well to your child, even if, you don't think exactly the same way as they do. So the common student errors is something that can be really helpful. And another one is the one-on-one -on -one that, um, let's see if I can find one here. 
The one-on-one -on -one is another uh, reinforcement that can be used if children are not understanding what they need to, if they're still not really understanding the material, sometimes they'll have the common student errors. And then here, this is one-on-one, -on -one, and it will, tells here if a student's having trouble computing the right answers in multi-step problems, there's some tips on how to help them. And there's also other tips included as well. And uh, that is something that can be really helpful and it's a tool that you can use as often or as little as needed, but it's just so nice to have it and to not have to go looking for the information when your child has a question and you don't know how to explain it. So I find the teacher's editions a real benefit um, when teaching my kids. Uh, another really fantastic part that I find is really unique and distinct uh, with the BJU Press homeschool math curriculum is the worldview focus. Um, this is something I have enjoyed from all the way through uh, elementary, all the way into the secondary math, and that is that the Bible is interwoven into the material, and it is not just a verse here and there. It is thinking with a biblical worldview and teaching kids to um, apply God's word and apply math to by helping others and honoring him and serving him by helping others. And I really have um, benefited from that personally. I've really enjoyed being able to see that. And that's something that just is going to be used over and over again. In every chapter, you're going to find math and scripture where they focus on a biblical basis for each um, for each chapter, they're going to focus on a biblical basis for what the chapter is all about. Um, another thing that can be really helpful is math in use. And uh, this is something that's also going to help kids to see that real world application to what they are doing. I know that um, I know myself when I was a middle school uh, kiddo, I remember asking my math teacher why. And that was my math question every day is I didn't understand why I needed math. And I love that there are so many different places within the BJU Press Math to be able to point out like that it's useful in every day and to be able to see even in secondary uh, math how it is useful every day. So this right here is an example uh, from chapter seven and it's talking about math and use about Julia Morgan who is an architect. And so there's a story about that and how Math is useful for um, everyday life. And you're gonna find those throughout the book. You're gonna find um, real world application problems that are going to really just help them to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. Uh, they're gonna get real world situations that they're, they're going to have to work out. And the more that kids can see that math applies to the real world and applies to their life, it's a lot easier for them to be able to apply themselves, if, even if it's uh, something that takes a little bit of extra effort. Um, another great benefit is uh, those word problems. Let me see if I can find. Uh, dominion through math is what it is, it, what the word problems are called. So dominion through math is where uh, the students get to actually show that they can solve real world problems and they can have dominion just like the creation mandate in scripture is for us to uh, have dominion and subdue the earth. And so that is brought into the math and it's so nicely done for the kids to see that these things that we talk about in Bible class, these things we talk about in our devotion time are not separate from even even math, that God's a God of order. So I find that really exciting and I absolutely love that. Uh, so here's just a few, I'm gonna flip through here just a little bit more, just to give you an idea of what is in the student um, text here. And uh, the problem solving sections are really helpful. Those are helping kids to learn to think more critically and that's gonna help build their critical thinking skills. Uh, critical thinking skills are something that can be taught and that can be built. Um, and that is something that is worked in with the problem solving sections. So those are really nice to have in every chapter as well.
Here's the math in scripture. Uh, this is talking about Ezekiel's temple. And uh, the kiddos can go through here and they can look up these scriptures and answer these questions and see how math is something that you can even see in scripture. And it ends with scriptural truth for the children to take. There are chapter reviews at the end of every chapter. And uh, that is something that is really helpful to help prepare them for the test. Um, and then there's those tests and test answer keys that are available to you as well. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, the pre-algebra is a really fantastic course. It is uh, laid out to be for about an eighth grader. Uh, depending on your child, everybody is uh, unique and it just depends where your kid is, but if you're going as it is laid out in the BJU Press Homeschool um, years, you would do the fundamentals of math in seventh, you would do pre-algebra in eighth, and then you would move on to algebra one in ninth. If you have any questions or would like to order this material, reach out to your Homeworks by Precept consultant. They're uh, homeschool parents who are just, uh, love to share their love for this curriculum and help you out in any way they can and always get you the best prices for your materials. Happy homeschooling!